This is the Galay Etude on page 65 in the Selected Melodious Progressive and Technical Studies for French Horn. In this practice session, I will number the measures, divide the etude into three sections. I will play through the etude slowly, getting a feel for the intervals. I will take you through my practice process and show you how I work out the kinks of my playing weaknesses. Practicing is perfectly imperfect as we hash through the notes and rhythms. This is etude number 50 on page 65. It's in the key of G. So I'm going to play the G scale. basically have the same rhythm and we're in 9-8 so we're going to play it as though we were in 3. The dotted quarter note gets one beat. splitting notes, you're going to hear me missing intervals. When you are sight reading, you're looking at the notes that you know, but now you're going to play them in different combinations. And this is the challenge for playing a brass instrument, especially the French horn, when you have intervals of different sizes. Now we're going to be relying on muscle memory as we continue practicing this etude and it should get better every time you go through the song. When you're practicing this etude, we need to okay. divide it up into playable sections. I'm going to put a double bar, and I'm going to practice that again, measure 1 through 14. Ready? Go. This etude is actually really good for where I am in my journey. Um, I'm trying to improve my high range, trying to play with more flexibility, um, trying to play with less tension. Measure 15. Sometimes I have trouble hearing my starting note, so I use octaves to help. Measure 
there's a lot to work on in this etude. We've got accents. I'm not doing them right now. Staccato, piano. This is, this is going to require a lot of work. The next place I'm going to put a double bar line is measure 27. So I'm going to be practicing these sections. The first section is measure 1 through 15. The next section is measure 15 through 27. Okay? So I'm going to start where I left off and measure 24. quarter note tied to an eighth note take a quick breath okay so now I'm gonna practice 15 through 27 measure 15 mm -hmm. a huge mistake right here. I'm playing F naturals in measure 24 and 25 instead of F sharp. So I've gone back in and put a sharp sign to remind myself that this is F sharp. And then it's like the beginning. 28 is like measure one. Measure two is like 29, pardon me. Measure three is like 30. Measure four is almost the same. Measure five is different. So let's start in measure 28. Measure 28 to the end. <clears throat> searching for other similarities between measures so that I can drill them. Similar but not exactly. Okay, so let's start in measure 35. Thank <laughs> you. 
Identify the similarities between measures and drill the similarities. Now I'm going to work the interval between the G and the B natural. I'm playing it an octave lower to get the pitches in my ear. admit that these notes in my range are not real solid so I am slurring to just get that feel in my lip of ease and comfort in reaching these notes. I tend to want to overblow but actually the opposite is needed to get these notes. There needs to be a lot of strength in your face, the airstream has to be really small and fast but there also has to be a lot of control in your diaphragm to get these notes. See you in my next practice session.